The Honorable Member for Aurora Oak Ridge's Richmond Hill. Well, Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister's failures with respect to our relationship with China have been numerous. Later today, the Prime Minister's point man on Canada-China relations will appear at the Canada-China Parliamentary Committee. Canadians are hoping that he will shed some light on the situation on the ground, what progress has been made since he arrived, and how this government is addressing the many problems with this relationship. Can the Prime Minister confirm whether any political staff have been involved in preparing Ambassador Barton for his committee appearance this evening? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Ambassador Dominic Barton is an exceptional individual with great depth of understanding of the situation in China over many, many years uh, and has also been an extremely active member working with me, working with the Government of Canada in terms of moving forward constructively on the sometimes difficult relationship with China right now, particularly around uh, the return of uh, the two Michaels who have been unfairly detained. Uh, we have full confidence in uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Ambassador Barton's ability to do this job and his ability to present himself to committee very well tonight. The Minister of Foreign Affairs stated that the government had secured an aircraft that could bring those Canadians who wish to leave China back to Canada. Michael Spavor and Michael Kovrig have been wrongfully imprisoned in China for 422 days. <coughs> Will both Mr. Spaver and Mr. Kovrig be joining their fellow Canadians on this flight and returning home where they belong? Canadians right across the country are concerned about the coronavirus. We are doing everything we can to reduce uh, the fear and the anxiety by saying the risk level is low and that we are keeping Canadians safe. The way the members opposite are choosing to make light of this and play politics with it with clever little games is quite frankly unworthy of this House of Commons, Mr. Speaker, and I hope the member opposite withdraws that question and the silliness involved. Really, we deserve better, even from the Conservatives.